Hi, today I'm going to show you a little trick that I used to use with great success back when I taught public school um, to teach my students to memorize their math facts. Now I don't do a lot of stuff in homeschool like I did in public school because I like the homeschool way better. That's why I homeschool, that's why I have my kids in homeschool. But for learning math facts, you got to memorize them. And this little trick works really, really well. And it's really, really simple. And I just never had the, I, I never had this fail. All my kids memorize math facts, unless they had some sort of serious, um, you know, something serious going on with their learning disabilities and things. So math facts, just take a, any simple notebook or just pieces of paper. I like notebooks because you can kind of save what they do and they can look back and see what they did and kind of save it and review it. But it could be any piece of paper. Okay, we just start with a new piece of paper and then use these lines. So fold it and fold it again. And like say on this sheet, we're gonna practice the two tables. Okay, so you do two times zero equals zero. Two times one equals, oops, equals two. <laughs> Two times two equals four. Two times three equals six. Two times four equals eight. Two times five equals ten. Two times six equals twelve. Two times seven equals fourteen. Two times eight equals sixteen. Times nine equals eighteen. Two times ten equals twenty. Two times eleven equals twenty-two. 2 times 12 equals 24. And that's it. That's really all that there is to it. You can use the same method, and they're going to fill up this, 2, 3, 4 columns, and then I don't care what you do. You can give them a prize, or you can give them no prize. You can just assign them to do a column per day, or two columns per day, or whatever you feel like assigning them, whatever your child um, can really do, you just have them do it. But I don't know why this works better than flashcards. I don't know why this works better than apps and computer games and everything else, but this method works. It has worked with every student that I ever taught and had to do math facts with. And I made all my students memorize math facts because I just think you need to memorize math facts in order to do higher math. I know people these days are like, oh, you don't have to memorize math facts. Well, I have my kids memorize math facts you choose for your kids what you want to do. Mine are going to know their math facts. And when I taught school and I taught kids math, everybody who knew their math facts was fine. Some kids are great at math, some kids aren't. But if you know those math facts, for the most part, you're going to be okay getting through math. But you can be a smart kid and you can be pretty good at math even. But if you haven't memorized your math facts, um, oh, that's my son's clock. My son loves fixing clocks. So I always have all these clocks around that he's fixed and then they chime and whatever. Ignore that. Um, anyway, it's, if they know their math facts, you can get through math. Um, so we can do more with this too. You don't just have to do the two times zero like that. You can do a fam, um, a fact family. So you could do like, um, what's a good one? Three plus four equals seven. Four plus three equals seven. 7 minus 4 equals 3. 7 minus 3 equals 4. You can do a whole thing of fact families. Um, then the same here with division. Then you can turn that around and make that into division um, families once the kids can, you know, once they're at that level and they're ready for division. Although once they memorize the times tables, I, I didn't, I mean, there's, there's fewer. Um, it just seems like that wasn't quite so necessary. It seemed like it came automatically. Um, whereas the addition and subtraction fact family seems like that's a little bit more um, important to practice so that they see their relationship. I don't know. My kids, by the time that they get here, they already see their relationship so well, maybe from doing this so much. But anyway, you can do fact families too, and it works very, very well. And as I said, um, I just I always have the kids fold their paper like this every time and then I always have them do their columns just keeps everything neat 
Um, it gets them started with being able to copy a problem and write a problem. This just sets them up for so much stuff and it's so easy. It's cheap and, um, and it's effective. And so I hope that that helps you out if you're having trouble with your kids memorizing their math facts. Um, if you can get them to do this, maybe you have to bribe them with, I don't normally bribe with external res rewards, but I would give a gummy bear or something like that at the end of something like this, something tiny, um, as a little incentive. If you're really, 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 if I'm really having trouble getting a kid to do it, then that's what I would do. Mostly at home, I don't do that, but, um, but yeah, this has worked with every kid and I hope that it helps you out too.